Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Zero number 485A. This is a piece of perimeter gasketing is what it is, and this is a 6-inch sample piece for purposes of this video review. Getting it removed here. Okay, so what we have is a piece of aluminum extruded aluminum with an insert um, a very heavy not heavy not very heavy but a substantial piece of uh, neoprene insert that's here solid neoprene which would be considered a closed cell neoprene uh, closed cell neoprene would be appropriate for just uh, for just keeping water out. Uh, closed cell neoprene does not have those tiny little air pockets that a sponge or an open cell neoprene would. That's really good for thermal capabilities and for acoustical attenuation. But when you're looking for just moisture, just the elements of, uh, of water uh, and intrusion, a closed cell neoprene would certainly be um, advantageous to you. Uh, there's a bit of it, and, and this is just a, like I said, a six inch sample piece. Um, that will allow us to review this, but we've got a bit of it sticking out here where we can see. Admittedly, it's a bit difficult to see it on the camera because it's so dark. But it features a tr otherwise traditional bulb okay, with this flap. And the flap is really great because the, bu the bulb is going to allow you to make your contact and your seal with when the door closes. When the door closes up against the frame, it will make nice contact. Well, that flap is really handy in case you have, obviously it gives you another line of surface area, but it also if you have any sort of deflection in the door, any sort of minor warp or anything marginally out of uh, plumb, true level and square with the door, that extra flap could be the difference between not having a seal and ch or trying to compress this too much and having just having, having enough contact that the weather stripping is actually worthwhile. So that flap that's coming off really takes the standard the otherwise standard vinyl material that would be about three quarter inch projection and get you out closer to about 15 16 okay it's a really smart design with that sort of insert for a closed cell neoprene uh, exterior weather stripping this ought to perform quite um, quite spectacularly for you uh, some dimensional properties <clears throat> there is an image down below this video which we'll switch to in a moment, <clears throat> shows the width of the aluminum itself at 9 16 That's spot on. Uh, they don't give us a projection overall, but we can gauge that there. It looks like it's about 7 8 maybe pushing 15 16 Okay, and we discussed that earlier, where that comes into play. In terms of a thickness of the material, they have it at 0 0.351, so 5 11 30 seconds of an inch. Okay, so just heavy on uh, 5 sixteenths. This uh, does show a hole in there, and, and this if this was the genuine article, there would be several holes slotted down the length of the unit. And the slotted holes are very handy um, when you're dealing with when you're dealing with attaching gasketing to a door or a frame. And the precise location of the hole, is sometimes hard to achieve uh, or you know there's not enough determination to drill the hole in the right place uh, but you have uh, a frame and a door that can be d in dim different dimensional properties over the length of the item and that this material once it's applied to something that's dimensionally not necessarily uh, completely exact throughout it has to make contact with something else so the slotted holes there are really necessary to allow you to make final fitting and placement of the material after you've drilled the hole to get it exactly in position. And that is certainly very true whether you're using this as perimeter gasketing. I don't think you'd use it as a split astragal uh, on a pair of doors, although you could. I wouldn't recommend it um, at all, but I, you know, I've, sure, I've sure seen it. Um, but perimeter gasketing... You know, that door, let's say it's seven foot tall, it's got, the frame needs to be true plumb level and square 
and that door needs to be completely without any sort of uh, warp at all, which of course would be the norm. Uh, but you know, if that frame is out, you know, just a small amount, uh, you know, if there's thermal bowing that occurs on the door during the day when the sun is, you know, at its most, you know, at its greatest magnitude, um, having some gasketing on there that's going to be able to tolerate those uh, un predictable conditions uh, prior to installation is where this really comes into play. And that slotted hole, uh, when you're drilling that hole, that drill bit has a tendency to walk a little bit before it pierces in, regardless of it being metal, wood, fiberglass, stainless, bronze, steel, uh, obviously. Uh, be, use, be sure to use a center punch when you're drilling those holes, but being able to put the screw in there and not tighten it down completely so that you can tailor that a little bit, and very much so if it's a door sweep, uh, you know, will be the difference between a, a really good fit uh, and otherwise. This package, this sample included an example of the screws. I don't know that self-drilling screws is the norm. Uh, this came with those. It's, I would not count on self-drilling screws being the norm. Self-tapping, yes, but not self-drilling. So if you have a particular need for fasteners, let us know. There may be an upcharge, but we'll let you know um, how, uh, how we would proceed with that. Uh, but don't assume what you're going to get. As far as I know, they're just going to be sheet metal screws, not self uh, self drilling. Pardon me, self tapping sheet metal screws. These are self drilling uh, sheet metal screws. Let's switch to the screen view where we can take a closer look at the supporting documentation. Okay, this is the item that we're looking at. So first of all, they're calling this 485A, and you may have noticed earlier on the packaging it said 485AA. Well, well, we're calling it 485A because in the product brochure, that's what they are calling it, 485A. Okay, the difference here is that AA stands for clear anodized aluminum, where A just is just mill aluminum. Well, this item they've sent us is clearly clear anodized. This is marked 485 AA, and that's because that's what this is. So, um, not knowing exactly what their intent is uh, with sending this sample that doesn't <laughs> match what I asked for, um, I don't. I if I was going to guess, this is a typo. This that should always be 485 AA, and we'll look into getting that updated and corrected in the future moving forward. But I would. Because this is clear anodized aluminum, this item that we're showing is actually a 485 AA. Well, okay, so the here's the item that we're looking at. Extended description information here. Perimeter seal, solid neoprene, aluminum. It's available in lots of different lengths. Length. Look at that misspelling there corrected. So this is listed in the site in lots of different lengths. This happens to be the 96 inch, 96 inch version. Uh, gives us dimensional properties. Zero compress o -matic. That's going to be a reference to that flap that they have there. Mounted with screws. Sound seal rated. ADA compliant. Sure. Uh, absolutely. I mean, you have to be mindful of what your clear opening is um, in ADA compliance. Um, so, sure, um, ADA, four eighty five. Yeah, you, you have to be mindful that that this does not decrease your clear opening space. But other than that, it wouldn't run afoul of ADA compliance. Smoke, smoke, and fire seal rated. Okay, and there's that cross section of the item that we're looking at. And I think what they're attempting to show us is that, you know, you're going to have a seal on the door. When you get down to an eighth of an inch between the face of the stop and the face of the door, and I think what they're attempting to show us is that you begin to make contact when the door is still slightly ajar, okay? Um, and the point being is that you will have, as I said earlier, you know, substantial surface area of making contact and an eighth of an inch is actually a little bit heavy for the distance from the face of the door to the face of the stop when the door is in the closed position that dimension will be 
probably closer to like 90,000, something, something closer to that. So that link to the product brochure will allow us to review the 485 and all of its sister products. And it was on the second page as seen here. Okay. Um, so being zero, there's going to be lots of variations on a theme. However, they, the variations are, are really departures uh, at the same time. Having concealed heads on the screws is incredibly more attractive than exposed fasteners. Okay, So you don't see concealed fasteners often enough, but when you do, you really take note. If you have clean lines on a frame, and you, you know, the last thing you really want to see are the head of screws, in my opinion, because the screw's not going to match the finish of the material. Um, and, and in fact, they'll be certainly made of a different material. Um, you will even see staining of the steel uh, screw over the face of the weather stripping. To be able to conceal all of that is just, just really smart money. So something like the 480, 478 that features that snap flange, this is nice as well because I've sold this uh, to people who have um, wanted something to act as a stop. And, you know, being at um 23 32nd of an inch wide you know you know basically 11 16 uh it's substantial and it can act as a stop you can stop when you know you can apply this to all four sides of a window obviously they indicate this to be a channel for low voltage wire um sure absolutely um you know that that would work out potentially very well you know if you have to get wire from you know inside of the header uh, and you don't have the ability to necessarily run it behind uh, the frame you might be able to pass that low voltage through here to get to the electric strike you know certainly uh, having something that uh, is spring compensated here is certainly very nice because it will give you a seal without um, causing binding you know if your door is, is warped or the jam is out of plumb something like this may work out very well uh, adjustable projection on these models and as you continue to see here the variations continue to uh, roll and I would say that there are even evolutions of the product magnetic material very large open cell neoprene material interlocking material this is great you live here in Florida, and rain will come horizontally, uh, not infrequently. You want to prevent water com from coming through. With the last hurricane, Hurricane Irma, you know, water was, it was 142 miles an hour at the local airport here. And the condos on the ocean, <clears throat> I was called out to a job where the condo on the first floor was f utterly... Um, ruined from water intrusion and all of the exterior the the stair columns the stair enclosure columns of the building were open to the elements well while there was originally weather stripping when the building was built 25 years ago that had all long deteriorated and that water just pushed right through those seams and right in, <laughs> right through the door into the hallway, into the uh, owner's unit, and none of the doors were ever opened. Um, just awful. So being able to interlock uh, is certainly a very nice potential feature. Doors are never going to be waterproof, but with, you know, when the weather stripping is, is long d deteriorated and or missing, yeah, there's not much success you can really accomplish uh, in that sort of environment. And then uh, we continue on with more material here that's not really germane to our conversation. So this link here to the manufacturer's page, that's a handy link because it will allow you to review not only all of the zero products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog and prior catalogs as well. Yeah, information as it re as it pertains to encyclopedic information. There's a technical manual here, and a Legion technical manual. Not sure what that is, and there's clearly something wrong with the file that will need to get corrected. Um, let's see if we can just 
cure our curiosity for what that is. Well, I'm not, uh, I'm not sure what that is. I, it, it could be just a summary document of different Allegian properties that have, um, I, you know, I, <laughs> by the time you're seeing this video, that link will be uh, corrected is what I guess I'm, I'm driving at. A, link, a Legion Architectural Guide. This is probably the document I was thinking of when it comes to multiple different companies. Um, talking about lock sets, exit devices, door closers, uh, things of that nature. Obviously steel doors and frames. A good overview of a Legion properties, the different sister companies under a Legion to talk about the deployment of hardware that they can put uh, together for a commercial project. A link to the A117.1 uh, uh, guide here, which is the uh, usable bu uh, buildings and facilities guide uh, for the handicapped, a, very, a pretty important document uh, as it will govern um, how we treat doors in public spaces and, of course, all other aspects of public used spaces. So that's a pretty handy document to have there. Let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, a very nice quality, uh, clean material with this clear anodized finish. Again, we'd call that 485 AA. I would very much uh, recommend that you consider ordering the material a little bit long uh, and then putting a miter at the header and the jams to make that a really slick installation, really nice and clean. I would certainly consider that. Um, you wouldn't need it much longer, maybe a couple of inches, uh, just to give yourself a little bit of room at the end to cut off. Sometimes it's you have a very small amount of material that you're trying to miter through or miter through. That little piece there is going to gain that energy and it's going to come tumbling off. Having something that you can, a longer length that you can actually clamp down and keep the piece in position. You don't want to have to miter that and then go back and have to file it. Aluminum's a bit tough to file, um, especially when you want a nice clean miter. So you might consider ordering it a little bit longer than that uh, as well. Okay, very nice quality product. Uh, the name Zero is synonymous with pretty interesting, unique solutions when it comes to weather stripping products. If you know the name Zero at all, you probably do because they're a leading uh, company when it comes to STC rated material, sound transmission control. If you're doing a door that has to hit a certain STC rating, other people certainly do it. You look in the Zero catalog and it's the, it's the first and last stop on the train of finding STC rated material. Again, other people make the material. Zero happens to have one heck of a diversity uh, and tested product assemblies that you probably want to review uh, right away. And then, and then go from there if you had to. Any questions on the 485A or 485AA in this case, uh, jam weather stripping or any other Zero product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.